Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome back to the modern C++ series. In this lesson, I'm going to be revisiting an old tool. We'll take a tiny detour from the topics we've been talking about in C++, but I think this will be helpful. So let me go ahead and explain by playing back an old video from you. Well, from a year ago, which I suppose is very old by YouTube standards. Um, but anyways, this is a tool called CPP man, which I just think is really useful. So you can see myself talking about this tool to myself here or whatever. Um, but the point here is that this is a really cool tool for being able to search for stuff on the terminal. And the reason I'm taking a look for this today, or a look back at this rather, is, well, one of my subscribers asked for some help using this tool. So I just wanted to do this as a sort of support video for all of my subscribers, members, and folks, you know, enjoying the C++ series. So here you have it. So we're going to go ahead and revisit this tool here. Let's go ahead and close that down. And I'll just go ahead and show you the GitHub page here where I found this tool. But CPP man is available on various uh, package managers. So you could just do pip install CPP man. That's how I installed it. Um, it's available on various um, operating systems, again, on Ubuntu, or if you're using Mac and Brew, uh, you can use this, which is great. So very easy to install, very easy to set up here. So as far as getting started, again, the point of this tool, let's go ahead and just um, make this nice and large for you, the font here. Well, the point is in C, what I really liked is just being able to type in like a function like this from the standard library and get the help pages. And then you can sort of, you know, search around here for various uh, options or, you know, whatever uh, shows up here. So again, not being able to do that in C++ is difficult when you're on the road in an airplane or whatever. So again, that's what the gap is that CPP man fills the ability to just type out vector or, you know, something close and basically be able to search by, you know, the title of the CPP reference pages. So when we're not able to get on our favorite website, CPP reference, you know, this is the next best thing here. This is also a pretty nice tool too, because you can scroll around and you can actually uh, double click on various entries here. Let's see if we have something that we can double click on here. Uh, maybe value types is available. Oh, there's no page there. No worries. We can just do a Q to get out here or revisit the page. And another way to navigate here, uh, let's go ahead and click on maybe namespace. There we go, namespaces. And you can use control T and control uh, right uh, bracket uh, to go forwards and backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, let's do uh, a oh, uh, shift bracket here. Let's see. How can I go backwards? Ah, stuck. Um, that's okay. Oh, there we go. Um, and anyways, there are some ways that you can kind of page around here, um, you know, to the next page and uh, previous. I'm usually just scrolling around here uh, and clicking. And uh, oh, yes, your, your cursor has to be over the uh, page here. So if you don't have a mouse or something, uh, let me just go ahead and show you here. That's no problem. You can just use, let me give you the navigation here, uh, control T and the control uh, right uh, bracket here. Okay. Uh, again, I'm usually using left uh, click, double click on something and then right click. So very easy to navigate very fast here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at another page here, maybe something like map. And let's go ahead and I don't know, let's find like pair or something that we can click on just to show that navigation so I can double click um, and it looks like I don't have it which is kind of weird here okay now why don't I have it here well there are some things that you need to do with CPP man to get it set up here so let me go ahead and show you that's the purpose of this video um, so if you do dash H again that'll give you the options here and one of the first things that you want to do is make sure that you set your source to cppreference.com here and the reason for that is I tend to like cppreference.com. It's a little bit more complete. C++.com also probably has good examples. So I, I would end up probably downloading all of these. Um, in fact, that's what we're going to do here in a second. Um, but that's the uh, idea. OK, so um, but by default, CPP man, the source I like setting to cppreference.com. And now when I do things like searching, which I'll go ahead and show you with dash F, that's the option here where I can look for keywords uh, that'll get us set up. Now, again, if you're just starting with CPP reference, you're going to want to run this dash C command, which caches all the pages. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this run for a second here. I'll move out of the way here. Uh, it's going to ask you, yeah, um, can, do you want me to just download everything uh, right now? I mean, otherwise, it just does it on the fly, which is really kind of cool. It's a smart tool. Um, but again, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, yes here, and it's going to just start caching all the pages and you can see this is from where I left off uh, previously so I might not have some of those like map or whatever it takes a little while to set up but again it's 
you're downloading all of C++. There's a lot to learn here. <laughs> so uh, anyways, let's just go ahead and cancel that and um, maybe get to the point here. Um, so let's see what else we can do here. Those are the main things that I want to go ahead and show. Uh, but now let's actually go ahead and find stuff. Because again, maybe you can't remember something like vector. Um, and it does tab autocomplete, um, which is quite nice here. So let's go ahead and see like CPP map, uh, unordered. And then if you hit tab set, uh, and then if I hit uh, tab again, well, I just happen to have a bunch of uh, unordered set demos here. Uh, it, it will try to complete what the first uh, thing is here. Okay, so let's try and with this with the uh, find functionality. Uh, if I try to find things that are unordered, uh, well, I get a whole bunch of them here. Okay, uh, all sorts of data structures I can see uh, here. Now, I guess I was just finding the best match or maybe whichever one I had here. Uh, actually, not uh, when I tab to autocomplete. But again, I'll give you some idea here. Okay, uh, for searching around. And this is just a list here. So now you need to actually type these. Uh, now, the specific question a user had was um, on finding uh, volatile like keywords and so on. Um, so my first entry is here. Uh, so let's try CPP man. And if I just start typing out volatile and I'm hitting tab and not really getting any result. So what I need to do is just take this one here. This looks like, you know, the keyword page. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it in quotation marks here and search for it. And there you go here. Okay. Um, so that should get me all the things uh, available. Okay, and then if we scroll around here, we can eventually see, you know, keywords, volatile, what this means. Uh, I double clicked it. I'm going to right click to go back exactly where I was. <laughs> no problems there. And again, if I'm uh, hovered over the word here, let's get the cursor in uh, place here. Uh, control and the right bracket takes me there. And then again, control and T uh, sends me back. Okay, so just to get that straight. All right, so there you have it. That's CPP man. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, you know, highlight their GitHub page. So thank you for, you know, the folks um, who have made this or other folks who have contributed to it. I think it's a useful resource. I love having command line tools uh, when I'm offline and so on. All right, folks, with that said, you know, check out the old video that is, again, a year old here. <laughs> you can check that out. Uh, or otherwise, feel free to check out um, my series here on C++ and other courses available. Um, and again, hopefully you enjoyed this. I know it's a review video, but uh, again, I think it's just an unrated tool that I think folks should, um, you know, know about. And if you know about other tools like this, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the discussion below if you have invaluable tools like this for whether you're on the road or just make your C++ more productive. Okay, we'll get into more tools later on in this series, so make sure you're subscribed for that. But until then, we'll go ahead and pick up for, off where we left off in the series, and I'll look forward to seeing you folks in the next video.